Hey, what up guys? Matt here, Acoustic Selection. Hope you're doing well. I got an easy agenda for this video, and it's to motivate some of you guys and gals to use your hobbies or your talents and or both for the Lord as a ministry. You know, I did a video like this uh, probably a year or two ago, and I had great feedback on it, so I thought I want to do something similar again. And if you can, if you can think of right now some cool ministry someone's done that you've seen, please comment below. So any kind of ministry that's kind of outside the box, not uh, all ministries are important. I don't mean that uh, one's higher than the other. I'm saying that's not maybe inside of a church, something outside the box. Um, list it below because I'm always interested in the, in the fresh ideas. I'll give you a good example. Uh, one of the ministries I follow each day is called Pray Fit. And they combine fitness with daily devotionals to talk about our bodies, our temples of the Lord. My, my boys are singing Father Abraham. Talks about our bodies as a temple of the Lord, which should be, it should be viewed as such and used as such. Hold on, buddy. Be careful. Um, so, so I thought that's neat that you have a guy who has knowledge and and a a high interest in fitness, and he uses that in his voice for the Lord. You know, with this channel, I use music lessons and, and things I go throughout today. Sometimes fitness, that kind of thing, to teach people how to praise the Lord, how to learn piano, basic guitar. Uh, do certain things so they can lead worship, maybe in their small group, maybe their personal time at home. Be careful, bud. It's your days. Watch out. No touch. Um, so it, it, it's just, I want, I want you guys to think of hobbies or interests you have that you could somehow use to promote the gospel, the good news of Jesus Christ. You're not going to have all the answers. Um, you're going to have many questions questions you don't know how to do a website or you don't know how to do social media you don't know how to do this or that, and that's okay you can cross those bridges when you get there you might even not even need those but i want to encourage you to step out in faith today and you guys are guys some of you you know you say you, i know you're thinking matt you're speaking just to me you have this talent you have this hobby you have this interest and you say you know what i could use that you say i love to bake could you, sit, could you bake goods and take to a nursing home, to a women's shelter, to a homeless? Um, you love to cook. You, you love to sing. Could you, be careful, but on. You love to sing or, or do things um, for, for the elderly or for, or for um, um, the orphans, um, uh, for, for uh, young boys and girls. For, um, and I, I'm, I'm drawing blanks here, but you, you see what I'm saying? Like, there's something God's laid on your heart and on my heart. We each we each have different talents. One's not more important than the others. We're all the hands and feet of the body of Christ. I want to challenge you today to use that for God's glory. Whatever it is, I don't know what yours is. Um, I can I, I can honestly say I didn't think I was going to start teaching four basic chords and a few things on the piano and it grow to where mine has now. But you just stay faithful each day and say, God. The battle is the Lord's. Wherever you want to take this, you want to make it great. You want to make it small, medium, whatever you want. I'm just going to, I'm just going to do this for your will. And I've said this before. Make make note of this. Focus also on what you want to become. Because by me, like for example, doing this ministry, I became a lot better guitar player. So in order to teach more lessons, I'd have to learn more, and I'd have to study more of the Bible to give more Bible and so forth. So. In the process of trying to help others, I became more. And another another line Andy Stanley says that helped me so much that I hope can help you guys too. Is he says, anyone can make a point. It's much harder to make a difference. Write that down and remember that. Anyone can make a point. It's much harder to make a difference. I don't want to go out here and just show you how good I am at something or how talented I am or look at me, look at me. I want to make a difference to empower you, to empower others, to empower my neighbor. And you do the same thing, and we're all refreshing and encouraging each other. And as a whole, it makes a greater body for Christ. Christ is the head of us all. Like it says in the New Testament, he's the cornerstone of it all. And as long as we build the house on the rock and we stay faithful, God can do amazing things with us. So think about your life, think about your hobbies and all these things. And say, God, how can you use these things, my job, my family, my finances, my, this relationship, these five crazy kids I have, these this motorcycle I have, this ministry, this whatever it is. God, how can you use this for your glory? And I promise you, he'll open your eyes and show you things. And it'll help you live a life 
that with, with extreme passion and purpose that, that the world just can't understand. So pray for God to show you something. I, I just hope this can help you out and get you kind of be the catalyst and the spark to light that fire and get, get you to do something. Uh, and like I said, if you know some cool ministry, someone in your church, a neighbor, a friend, a family has, please list it below. I love hearing about these um, and, and thinking of outside of ways, uh, outside the box kind of ways we can promote the gospel. Thanks so much for your support, guys. Check out AcousticSelection.com. Follow me on Snapchat, Guitar Teacher 44 I love you. Most importantly, God loves you. God bless you.